Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your big ocean, okay? And it is the beginning of this week, and I just thought that I should give you guys a reading, stating a little bit of information about what you might see going on this week. And I decided not to do the week ahead spread that I did. I know I'll be switching it up, but it's okay because you're still getting the messages that you need. All right, so this reading here is going to be for my Libras. What's going on this week for my Libras? What do they need to know? What can be seen coming? What to expect emotionally? We're just asking, asking, asking to catch the waves of my Libras to see what it is that you might want them to know. Divine energy. All right, so we have the crown, the moth. And the grimoire that right there is prestige change and knowledge okay prestige change and knowledge somebody is about to be advanced i don't know if this is at work and a commitment spiritually Somebody's getting ready to be advanced. Okay, we have a gentleman. A warning. And plenty. Okay. So you have a gentleman, a warning, and plenty. I don't know, but this, this warning card is like catching all my attention. Like, the bells should be ringing for you guys, Libra. There are some bells that should be ringing. Like, I don't know, I feel like there have been signs after signs after signs that have been coming to you guys. Like, it's important that you receive some kind of message. Okay? All right. With the gentleman card... This could be a warning about health. Um, something could be secretly going on with your health. Or you, somebody could be holding back the secret about some health issues. Um, also, you could be needing to isolate yourself or go into solitude a little bit, okay? Going into solitude to uh, replenish yourself, all right? It could be you needing to take time for yourself. Some of you guys might have been working so hard, you could be kind of tired and you're needing to take time to recover. That could also be one of the things <clears throat> that we're pulling from here. Okay? All right, so we're going to get some clarity on these cards. <sighs> Feeling some overwhelming, stressful energy for you, Libra, right now. Overwhelmed and stressful, like kind of like a headache, hard to breathe type energy. Hmm. Okay, so we have with this, with the crown. And we have this crown card right here, you guys. And the crown is just like a, a reward, an increase in status, okay? So for some of you guys, I feel like you have made it through some kind of test. Libra, you made it through some kind of test, okay? And it's time to be rewarded. I also feel like you're being seen, being put on the front line as well. have learned from your lessons okay you've learned from, from your lessons and uh for some reason i'm also hearing that you guys are just not going in the same direction anymore like you learn from your lessons you're not doing anything that isn't fulfilling you guys with this reward card Mm -mm. Okay, 
You do have the Six of Swords here. Uh, for some of you guys, the reward is going to be you moving. This could be a physical move, moving up in your workplace, or just moving up in your spiritual um, your spiritual role. Okay, uh, wherever you are in your spiritual journey, you could be moving up, you could be leveling up, you could be being guided to, I feel like you're going to be able to receive some kind of messages as well. Okay, I'm also getting the vibe that you guys are very, very protected for anything that is not along the same path that you, that, you know, that is fulfilling for you, Okay. A lot of you guys are also moving away from things that are not uh, <clears throat> that are not a part of your journey. Things could be falling off that's not a part of your journey. Things that used to make you happy once before no longer make you happy. Okay, you're taking a different route. Okay, you also have change, which is pretty much there because you know what I just said. Libra, you're getting ready to change. Okay, you have the Emperor in reverse. I feel like that's a cocky, a cocky energy, cocky mindset, along with some bad habits. Hmm. You need to be careful, okay? You need to be careful who you're giving your energy to, Libra. I feel like you could be paying attention to somebody who is just, um, You pay attention to someone who is just really, really cocky, okay? And this also could be you. You guys could be going into a new energy of feeling yourself, okay? Starting something new. You could be walking away from some kind of unjustified environment, something that wasn't fitting for you, Libra, and opening, going into a door of something else that's more fulfilling, okay? I also feel like you get a lot more energy here. This is going to be something new. Like I said, this could be a new job, a new position. You have, you have the full part. And all that is, is, this is something very new for you guys. You guys are going on to a new journey. There's something that's changing. I really feel like this could be... This is this is something spiritual, Libra. Something spiritual is changing with you guys. Because I'm just focusing on how clear the body is on this full card. How clear the body is on this full card. But her head is visible, her arms, her hands are visible, and her feet. But the body itself... The cloak itself is just like, it's nothing but the world. She's intuitive with the universe. She's connected with the universe. The universe is flowing through her body. She wears the universe, okay? She doesn't need a lot, but she has it all. She has this white dog next to her. That's like in, this intuition to me. You guys are just about to have some kind of intuitive growth, some kind of spiritual growth, Libra, going on with you guys this week. All right, you have the knowledge, and you have the King of Swords. A lot of you guys are feeling more confident this week and making decisions, okay? And you have the six of wands. I feel like you guys know what you want and you're going after everything that you want. Okay. <laughs> whatever you've been asking, whatever you've been praying for, it's about to be given to you. When I say it's not even an overflow, I feel like it's just about to be poured onto you. It's going to be overwhelming. Okay. It's going to be overwhelming. With this nine of swords, this is going to be overwhelming. Something that you don't expect. I don't feel like it's a bad overwhelming, but it's definitely something that you don't expect. 
okay you do have the seven of cups i did, i can see like um you're starting to really envision libra you're starting to really put together some dreams or some things that you want to do and it's, it's all coming together for you guys i feel like your mind is starting to open up you're starting to see things for a lot of you guys you could also be having dreams as well okay with the knowledge you could be getting a lot of knowledge um also for some of you guys you could be getting information from somebody so i could be pouring information into you and it could seem like it's a lot of information to download okay and so i could be opening up your views of things and showing you that there's more than one way to do something you have options um as well this could be you going back to school this could be you studying for something at work okay yeah nine of wands fell out yeah, but you, you got a lot of information that's coming in for you guys. I feel like you have a, a download coming, Libra. All right, so with the strength card, you have the Prince of Cups. Hmm. There's definitely somebody coming in. Somebody's coming in for you, Libra. Or something's coming in for you. All right, somebody's coming in and they're not, they're being, this one, he doesn't have a lot to offer, I believe, okay? Somebody's coming, they don't have a lot to offer. I feel like this person is not too confident about how they're coming towards you or whatever is coming in. This could be your energy of not being confident, but somebody's not feeling confident at this time. Now, you're definitely not coming to play. They're not with the bull crap. They're just probably going to express how they feel about you. They're going to express how you feel assisted them, how you helped them. I feel like this is somebody that you might have tamed their energy. You might have calmed this person down. Libra. Hmm. All right, so we have a warning, the four swords. Okay, there's something that's, that's not healed. Somebody keeps cutting the wound back open. Hmm. For some of you guys, you're not getting enough rest because you feel like you have to accomplish something before time is, time is up. You're just working and working and working. I'm also feeling like this is something that's unhealthy. Being at the roots of the tree on this card right here, the roots on the tree on this card are above and not underneath where they're protected. Somebody, somebody's not really taking care of themselves. Ooh, that card flew out. Hmm. I feel like somebody's trying to control you too, Libra. There's somebody who's trying to control you, okay? They're trying to have some kind of control over your life. They're doing some kind of dark magic in the background, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you might not even be able to sleep. For some of you guys, you might have been sick or feeling sick. But I feel like somebody's watching you in a crystal ball and they're going to somebody to get work done. They're masking what they're wanting done to you by using another party. Yeah, somebody can't let you go. Somebody's really, really sad. And they're like watching you. They're watching you. They're 
they're trying to see how you're reacting to things, how you're, like, how you're feeling. But Libra, you got the Queen of Swords and the Justice pulled out together. The Queen of Swords and the Justice. You're protected. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing can get past you guys. Okay? Nothing can get past you. You see that triangle right there? That is you guys being in tune with your mind, body, and soul. And because of that, you you can feel, you can see it coming. So whatever they're trying to give you, it's not coming to you. It's being sent back to the sender. Okay? They can't get to you. They can only see you from a distance. This person can't even come close to you or can touch you. There's definitely somebody out there that, that's watching you. This person could also be talking about you, okay, to another person. They could be being messy. Like, you're the focus of their life. We have plenty. We have the Four of Cups in reverse, okay? So some of you guys might not even be feeling like you need anything else. Like, there's nothing more to grow. There's nothing more to work on. Okay? You guys are happy. You're happy where you're at. You're sharing. You're sharing your wealth. You're sharing whatever it is with somebody. You're giving back. Okay? You're in the energy of giving and celebrating. Okay? You have enough. A lot of you guys are also working okay you're working towards something i feel like you guys are working towards creating something pulling something together i know what the tower cards mean but i just feel like you guys are really just trying to create something like you're trying to build something on a foundation like you're trying to structure you're trying to get it perfect okay yeah you have a seven of this you guys are working on some kind of new project or trying to create something but the King of Cups, this is something that you're willing to give your all to. This could be a relationship as well. You also have the Queen of Cups. So it, it could be somebody that's coming in that's wanting to assist you with what you have. Yeah. It's gonna be somebody who wants to join, who wants to join in on what you have coming up. On what you're trying to have together. Whatever it is that you're working on, you're going to be really successful in it because this is something that you desire. This is something that you're passionate about, okay? I also see you guys being very, very ambitious. You're being gifted the opportunity to, like, spark up again. Definitely. To spark up again. Like you're trying to create some kind of wealth or some kind of structured generational thing for your family, Libra. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Okay. And you have the CCI, which is joy. You have the joy card. Joy. I'm gonna tell you what that is. And your number, your your number to focus on could be 16. It says you deserve to be happy. It is safe for you to feel good. Allow yourself to feel joy with no limits. This self-love, your happiness does not need to look like anyone else's. If you can't imagine it, you won't be able to live it. Close your eyes and see yourself joy filled. Now laugh with your mouth and your eyes wide open. Try to release feel good endorphins. I feel like me when I'm happy. Okay, so you're about to go through a major life transition. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, Libra, I do feel like this is a spiritual awakening that you're going through. For a lot of you guys, you could be walking into some kind of commitment. Seeing things differently. Okay. Well, Libra, this is your reading for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.